hi guys welcome to my channel uh my name is tata aka tata living aka tata attainment and today is vlogmas day one and i thought you know since it is year end everybody's probably thinking about their future and what they're going to be doing uh next um year and i thought maybe this would be a good opportunity for you guys to learn more about the canadian permanent residence process um so i've done a step-by-step -step, um of what you should do um and mind you you can do all this by yourself without an agent and you just need to know what to do so i'm going to simplify it because if i put it in one long video it's going to be too much it's going to be too much when i first heard about canada i had all this information and it was too much and i ended up procrastinating like so many months which made my process be caught up in by covid um which delayed things so if i had it in bite-sized um things i in bite-sized um bits then probably would have started earlier so i'm gonna do this um for the first 10 days um of vlogmas and then after that i can continue with my lifestyle videos or whatever so without further ado uh please hit that subscribe button and then we can continue with our vlogmas so yay so the first thing that you want to do so day one oh, oh, oh. okay so what you want to do is to check which program you qualify for um on canada CA. So everything is done online, guys. You do not have to go through a lot of things to do this. So, for example, you just go here, Canada.ca. This is the official immigration uh, site. This site should be your friend. This one, yes. So here, depending on where you're from, um, you can. If you're from Francophone, you can do Francais. If you're from um, english phone i don't know if you yeah if you speak english then yeah so that's that so this site is what it's the best site because it's an official website of the government of canada you don't need to go anywhere else everything is self-explanatory so what you want to do is to come here immigration and citizenship you click here uh this is the site where this is the link that gives you everything that you need um so what we want to do depending um on what you want to do if you want to immigrate if you want to work if you want to study if you want to do citizenship if you want to come as a refugee and asylum uh if you're a new new immigrant everything everything is in this site so we want to go to immigrate because that's what we're trying to do um in immigration there are so many ways to immigrate there is express entry which is immigration as a skilled worker there is provincial nomination there is atlantic immigration there is startup visa family sponsorship quebec selected skilled workers caregivers self-employed um rural and northern immigration agri food pilot temporary resident and other other many there's so many will not finish them today i want to talk about express entry because that's the one i know about and that's the one i use um yeah so express entry is for skilled workers uh, so there are three immigration programs What's wrong with my stupid my stupid thingy there are three um so the first one is canadian experience class which is for skilled workers who have canadian experience this is usually like for people who have come here and studied here and then went on to have um three years of experience uh before applying uh so 
and then there there is also federal skill trades so this one is for people who are qualified in a certain trade um let's see what kind of trades they will be looking for um yeah uh transport officers um general trades agriculture processing um aircraft assemblers cooks butchers bakers chefs um yeah so if you're into a trade this one is for you but the one that i want to focus on is the federal skilled worker program this is for skilled workers with foreign experience because most of the people that i'm targeting with this video are probably going to fall under this one so let's learn more about it uh so the federal skilled worker program is for skilled workers who have work experience and want to become permanent resident so if you have worker work experience in wherever you are i'm from zimbabwe and if you've worked uh in your country which is um highly likely then you must to be eligible you must meet the three skilled work experience language ability and education um we are going to go into this fully uh but first i want us to do something called the crs score so just here i'm gonna say crs calculator um because it can get overwhelming so i want us to check it very slowly so you can go you can google crs calculator as i did and then go to the same website as long as it ends with .ca, you're good you know that you are in, in a government website so when you get in here um this um crs is a comprehensive ranking system based on the answers that you will provide so this one will help you assess if you are eligible to immigrate through express entry um okay so i think we should just go ahead and try to think of to, and try to fill this in so that we can um see if we will be eligible so you use this tool if you're eligible for at least one express entry program and that's the one that we've talked about either you're in trades or you're you're a foreign foreigner with a foreign work experience or you have had canadian work experience so yeah or you you have not filled out an express entry profile and you'd like to see what your comprehensive ranking system score might be this is us right now this is what we are trying to do we want to think um we want to see if this is for us so um, yeah and then you can also use this tool if you're invited to apply for permanent residence and want to see if a change in your profile may affect your crs score yeah so i think we are on number two we're trying to see what our score might be so to get an invitation your score must be above the minimum points of the round of invitations so now let's try to think of a, of a scenario let's say i let's say the person that we're trying to see the crs score is um okay what's your marital status this is just a hypothetical person let's say that this is a girlie who is single never been married let's say you're single never been married and then here it says how old are you um okay so currently let's say this person is 28 yeah uh what is your level of education um for which you let's say you got a canadian degree or you had an educational credential assessment so we don't have this but we are being hypothetical to see if we qualify so let's say our level of education is a bachelor's degree our girlie is 28 years never been married has a bachelor's degree uh and then they'll ask have you 
earned a Canadian degree or diploma? Uh, let's say no. Um, no, yes. Hello. Okay. Official languages. Um, Canada's official languages are English and French. So um, you need to submit language tests that are less than two years. At this point, we do not have um, language tests. We're just seeing, we're just testing the waters. So are your test results less than two years old? We can say no here, and then the whole test will, will, will then shut down because we do not have the requirements. Or we can say yes because we are manifesting. Um, so which language did you take for your first official language? Our girlie took ILTS. So this, um, yeah, let's say ILTS. We'll talk about the test later. And then enter your scores. Let's say our, our girlie has a good command in English. I mean, she has a bachelor's, so 7.5. In listening, is she's all right. I mean, yeah, let's say 7.5 again. In reading uh 7.0 in writing let's say our girl has 7.0 these are hypothetical uh we we do not want to give ourselves a straight a on hypothetical we're just saying we will play with them a little bit and see so they'll ask do you have any other language results um if you speak french cool but i know the majority of us here might not have a good command of french so we're going to say not applicable if you know french then kudos to you you're going to have more points and then number six they'll ask in the last 10 years how many years of skilled work experience in canada do you have um like we said our girl did not does, did not ever stay in canada so none and then they'll ask in the last 10 years how many total years of foreign skilled work experience do you have Le um so the maximum is three years or more so we're going to choose three years or more let's say our girlie has a bit of experience and then they'll ask do you have a certificate of qualification from a canadian province territory or federal body our girl does not have that so we're going to say no and then they'll ask for additional points. Do you have a valid job offer supported by labor market uh, impact assessment, um, which must be full time, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it shouldn't be with an embassy. Um, so we're going to say no. Our girl does not have work experience in Canada. And then we're going to, they, there's another question. Do you have a nomination certi certificate from a province or territory? Our girl does not have that either. And then do you and your your spouse or common law partner have at least one brother or sister living in Canada with a citizen or a permanent resident? Let's say our girl and the this brother or sister must be 18 years old, related by blood, uh, have a parent in common and stuff. Let's say you do not have that. Our girl does not have that. So then we come to this thing. We calculate the score that we get from entering our hypothetical profile. Now, mind you, everything else that you put here is true, except for one thing, the ILTS test, because you do not have those scores yet. But whatever score that you get here would determine what you need to work on. So, okay, this is what I'm saying. So your results... So all the candidates get a score out of 1,200. So whatever score we're about to see here is um, out of 1,200. Um, let's just go to the score and then we can try and explain the score later. So your total is 387 as a person with a bachelor's and has three years of experience and stuff like that now let's say for example you were a 
35 year old man just to show that your your circumstances are what lowers or makes your you know your score higher let's say you're a 35 year old man who is married you're married and your spouse is not a permanent resident of canada no um and will your spouse come with you to canada let's say yes you want your wife with you and then they'll ask how old are you so usually um for the best scores you have to be under 30 because after 30 you start losing five points every birthday so not to say that it's going to um stop you but other circumstances this is just one part that that lowers your points but you might have other things going for you which might help so let's do this example and see let's say this guy is 35 years old and let's say he has a bachelor's as well and he does not have a canadian degree and yeah let's say his ilts is the same score as the lady we have done before and he does not know french and he has never worked in canada and he also has three plus years of experience does not have a certificate of qualification um does not have a job offer or a nomination of a province uh and then the highest level of education for his spouse let's say for example is a master's he has a learned baby <laughs> and in the last 10 years his spouse is also has also worked let's say for three years just like him um and let's say his uh wife or spouse took um a test same ilts let's say they did the same score speaking was high um listening was 7.5 reading was 7.0 and writing was 7.0 let's calculate this and see okay i think it has changed already so out, out of 1200 368 okay nothing changed for them did i calculate it very well uh huh because of the age of the guy he still gets lower points okay let's try a, a different profile for example okay let's try my profile the one that i had when i was starting out so when i was starting out how old was i 20 20 i was 28 okay uh i was single never married that time uh-huh and i was 20 28 and my level of education was a master's hey i'm a learned babe i have a master's in public health guys um had I earned a Canadian degree? No, nope. Uh, official languages, uh, I ha hypothetically, let's say ILTS, um, and that's what I did. So, uh, I think my scores were a bit high. Listening, but I think that's what. Yeah, I think that's why my scores actually. Yeah, let's go with the same scores right uh i did not have french i had no experience in canada and i for
foreign experience. I had three years. I had no qualification from a province and I had no job offer. I had no nomination and how guys I did not have a spouse what's going on do I have to start off okay I'm starting over sorry <laughs> okay single now married twenty eight masters No Canadian degree. Uh, yes, I had LTS. Speaking. Speaking, I think I had 6.5, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you the story about what happened in my LTS test on on the section about LTS but yo um listening let's say at 7.5 reading let's say had 7.0 writing my scores were not that like oh my gosh they were moderate no French three years of experience by now you know the drill so we're going fast uh no, not in Canada. I, in Canada, no, none. Oh my gosh. And foreign. So there's two. You gotta be careful. There is a skilled work experience in Canada, and there is total foreign skilled work experience in Canada. When you do this, you really have to read the whole text. I'm just going fast because otherwise the video is going to be longer but yeah you want to try to do that otherwise you make mistakes like i did so i have foreign work experience i do not have canadian work experience until now <laughs> uh story for another day um do you have a certificate of qualification um no and not to scare you or anything it's because i haven't started looking do you have a valid job offer? No. Do I have did I have a nomination certificate? No. Do you or a sperm sorry, a spouse <laughs> have a brother coming? No. I do not have a spouse at that part at that point. So calculate your score. I'm going to see if it will give me the same score it gave me last time. 406. What happened? Did I put the wrong score? Anyway, yeah, you get the idea. When I did this, I had 472. So I don't know where I got it wrong here. My scores were 472. Maybe I put too long. Let's try to put high. I just remember that my my total score was 472. Let's try to play with that. So there's certain things that you can play with, like the LTS. But otherwise, if you're single, you're single. If you're married, you're married. Unless your circumstances are about to change drastically. At the same, like, just before you decide to do this, then 481. Okay, you see? just your ilts what it can do for you from 408 to 481 so yeah basically this is it if i'd say if there are two scenarios the first girl who we did who had 380 something had a bachelor's and stuff I would still encourage them to apply because there are other ways to increase your points. Like you've seen, you can imp increase your points by um, uh, working better at your ILTS or doing French if you think so. But I, I, I'm, I don't, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't encourage that. If you're like, 
unless if it's a long game and you you have age on your side like you're 25 and you can study french for two years and still be under 30 when you do this and then also the scenario of the couple who had 300 and something i'll still encourage them to apply there's always provincial nomination um to buffer your points there are always ways to buffer your points i i would actually say as long as your points are more than 300 forget the 1000 this 1200 most people their score is in the 400s you can only get this 1200 we'll talk about how you can get this but it's unnecessary it's unnecessary we can see like the recent ministerial draws IRCC ministerial draws instruction I think that's what they call them oh we're in dark mode now oh uh, what am I trying to say IRCC recent draws okay still the same site government sites guys do not go anywhere um i know that most of our government sites do not work our native government sites do not work but here in canada everything works on the government side at least uh so you can see that the last draw was done on the 26th of october 2023 today is the 14th of november as I'm filming this ahead of Logmas. Um, and they invited 3,600 people with healthcare occupations. We're also going to talk about this. There are other ways, like I said. And um, the lowest ranking candidate invited had 431 points okay so if i was in the pool and i was in healthcare, like um my score being um what is this 481 this hypothetical score that we just did i will get invited right so there are different there are different ways to buffer up your points like some of these things do not matter because um there are different programs there's this federal skilled worker the f that we we're just talking about um and also within federal skilled worker there is category best that one is the one that i wanted to talk about category best draws so now it's not just about um how many points you have there are also draws that are mainly focused on other things like for 2023 they had six categories that they were focusing on for those people with french language proficiency you were lucky because you were the target of canada's eye healthcare op occupations those in stem girls in stem <laughs> trade occupations transport occup occupations agriculture agri-foods and such and such and such so again you can always come into here and see who is eligible for each category um yeah healthcare occupations all these people so they have different they have different um requirements like for this ones you should have worked at least three at least six months the first one is your points are higher if you have three years but this one you you, you only need at least six months full-time work um in the occupation listed below so there are always ways to go guys um yeah that's why i want us to like for example orderlies paramedical physiotherapies all this is under healthcare so yeah this is how you find out how eligible you are we need to develop a culture of reading this website is rich and pregnant with um 
information so for this uh topic of checking your eligibility i'm going to stop here